Let's talk about the vulva and the vagina. Now, you would think, given how important that part of our anatomy is, that we would be quite familiar with it, but that's actually not the case. In the UK, 73% of women do not know what a vulva is, and 43% are actually embarrassed by that part of their body. In the US, 30% of college-aged women cannot look at the clitoris on an anatomy base. And how are we supposed to experience pleasure if we do not even know our own body? So let's get educated. Let's start with the vulva. Often mistaken with the vagina, the vulva actually encompasses the pubis, the clitoris, labia majora, labia minora, the urethral opening, and vaginal entrance. The pubis is the amount of fatty tissue that covers the pubic bone. Labia majora is the fatty fold of tissues that surrounds the entire vulva. Both get covered with hair during puberty. Within labia majora lies labia minora, which surrounds the urethral opening and vaginal entrance. All three are very rich in nerve endings, which makes their stimulation very pleasurable. Before we move on, let's make something very clear. Vulvas come in all shapes and forms, and there is no normal looking vulva. Each vulva is unique. Now let's talk about the vagina. The vagina is a highly elastic organ that performs several important functions, including the passage of menstrual blood and of babies during childbirth. It also plays a role in sexual pleasure. When sexually stimulated, its mucous membrane swells and releases a liquid for easier penetration. The vagina muscles also usually contract, leading up to an orgasm. There's something very interesting with the vagina. The back two thirds of the vagina have little sensitivity, which is why you can insert a menstrual cup or a tampon with little discomfort. But the lower third of the vagina contains 90% of vaginal nerve endings. That fact alone proves that when it comes to vaginal penetration, size or length really doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs>